Come with me to see Pulp at the Hollywood Palladium. Yay! Hi, Stacy Burke here, and I'm wearing my Pulp shirt <laughs> from last night. And that's Jarvis Cocker in the background. Yes, I have him all the time. He is my cardboard cutout. As you know, I do love Jarvis Cocker, and I love the band Pulp. And I had tickets to go see them at the Hollywood Palladium, and I have... Never seen them live. I've always wanted to see them live. And you know how you get tickets. You get them in advance. So I don't know when I bought them. I got general admission because I never get VIP at a new place because I never know if it's worth it or not. Um, so I got tickets to see them and um, I was so excited. But I'd never been to the Hollywood Palladium before. So I was a little nervous. Uh, so I contact my friend uh, Mike Timpson who lives in the area. And so... Um, he invited me over early, so I went to go to his house first, and then we chatted for a little bit. I brought him some potato chips, like different flavored potato chips. I brought him some of that Coke Zero uh, Oreo-flavored stuff, uh, that Oreo-flavored Coke Zero, and I brought him some uh, sugar cookies, and uh, we kind of chatted for a little bit, and then he wanted to go out for dinner beforehand. So we went to this new place called, I think it's Green Leaves. It's a vegan restaurant in LA. Oh my God, it's so good. I got the pineapple curry. And I remember before I was vegan, I used to love um, pineapple curry with shrimp. And it, it was exactly how I remember it tasting, but this was pumpkin curry um oh my god you got to go there green leaves um it was a pumpkin spicy curry and he got the chicken satay but it wasn't chicken it is um like tofu because he can't have chicken either so he's not vegan but he has to be very very careful what he eats it can't be real chicken so he got the chicken satay if you know what that is it's like kind of like a usually it's grilled chicken with a peanut sauce but this was all vegan. And he got a chai iced tea. And I wanted to get one, but I didn't want to get too full before the concert. But I remember loving chai iced teas with the condensed milk, but this is coconut milk. Oh, my God. It was so good. Anyway, dinner was so good. Thank you, Mike. It was so awesome. And he dropped me off at the Hollywood Palladium, and which was awesome. I'm glad I showed up early. I, showed, I was there early. I waited in line. Um... That place, I've never been there. It's so big. It's so beautiful. There's so many bars. There's little snacks you could get. It's so spacious. The, the general mission is so spacious. And there's a little area for um, if, you, like, uh, if you're handicapped or, or, or people that have problems like walking or standing. There's an area for them. And there's guest services that us. Uh, there's guest services that assist them. Um, to where they need to be seated and everything, which I think is very awesome and cool. And um, they, not only did they have so many bars, like you didn't have to wait for anything and snacks and stuff, they also had like a, a waitress going around the floor asking if they needed anything. So you didn't even have to like lose your spot. And I picked a perfect spot next to the edge. So, um, no one in front of me i could see the band perfectly even though it was big and huge and spacious it's still an intimate setting it's so odd and i saw upstairs where the vip area was and it looked really nice but then a couple who i ended up chatting with through the whole concert they're so cool they were so cool i wish i got their names and information but um they said they were at they spent they spent two hundred fifty dollars for VIP upstairs, but they couldn't see unless you paid extra extra for like a table to eat, because like they were kind of if you ever been to the House of Blues, it's kind of that kind of vibe, which I totally get. When you're upstairs, you really can't see unless you're really up against the railing, and so they paid two hundred fifty dollars, but they they just chose to be right next to me in in general admission, and they had a blast, and we were chatting about. Uh, old bands and like we're going down the rabbit hole and talking about the old school punk rock days and documentaries and how we follow this and follow that and um and the prices were good i got a double jack and coke which is only 25 dollars. and i know when i say it's only 25 dollars, but it was a double at the hollywood palladium and that's very rare very rare nowadays and I had, oh my God, the band was so good. They had an opening band called The Escapisms. I only 
videotaped a little bit so through this I, I only a little bit because I just wanted to enjoy the moment so and you know me I like to see the crowd so you're going to see me taping the crowd but the escapism was so good he reminded me of Arthur Lee and I definitely want to see them again I don't know where they're based out of they might be based out of Detroit but it was just a two a man band it was a woman and a guy and he reminded me of Arthur Lee and it was just so like underground garage like Jimi Hendrix but like beat Nick era the glam rock stuff the stuff that I love and I crave and I think it's I think it's kind of coming back but then I don't want it to come back because then it'll be like hip and groovy I don't know but oh my god follow the escapism go to green leaves check out the Hollywood Palladium it's an amazing venue and it calls pulp that was my bucket list I had to see pulp I love pulp and they're not from the United States so it's really hard to see them the next thing that they're playing tonight also the Hollywood Palladium and the Hollywood Cemetery and I wish I got tickets for that that seems of course every time Paul plays they're they're sold out uh, like it, you know which is what they should because they're awesome and in a lot of I don't know why like a lot of my when I tape uh, things on my own well, I say tape but you know when I record things uh, the lights they use a lot of uh, strobe lights and stuff and so it might be hard to see the band but if you want to see the band just go on YouTube you know me I like to I like to show uh, the venue and i like to show the people and the energy basically and i just want to do little and bit little bits and pieces of it um but you could always follow that on instagram and on youtube and you could s check them out but i just want to give a shout out thank you mike timpson for your hospitality thank you for taking me out for dinner for this wonderful place that i can't wait to go back to again um and thank you for dropping me off <laughs> um, and picking me up and and then um, just, you know, keeping me company uh, before uh, the drive home and everything. Your hospitality is just wonderful. You're awesome. You rock. And Pulp was awesome. The, the escapism was awesome. Green Leaves Vegan Restaurant was awesome. It was an awesome night. And um, oh, and I got a t-shirt. So just watch the video. I'm going to give you little vid clips. I'm going to show you uh, what I bought. I got the, the concert t-shirt, of course, in the parking lot um, for $20 because I just can't afford the merch. Sorry, Pulp. I just can't afford the merch this is just too expensive for me i gotta get the cheap route so i get the parking lot guys um and i got like a little bracelet from a lady that was selling bracelets like friendship bracelets uh in line maybe i'll take a picture of that because i can't show you right now because it's the hand that's holding up my phone yes i'm doing it on my phone because everything is just easier to edit on my phone so follow the videos i hope you enjoy them um i probably won't get monetized because it's going to be you know their music but i just want to bring you along so come with me to the hollywood palladium for a blast it's so much fun so keep watching have a great day peace here's the bracelet i got from the ladies who's selling the friendship bracelets i got it for two bucks i kind of like it right excuse the dry hands <laughs> i could put lotion on them but that's what i got in line i like it for two bucks i'll take it yay been here before I'm in the dark actually in many ways but this is a good place it's so big bigger than what I thought it was gonna be I like it
um, are we going to try and create some magic? Yeah! I mean, this is a uh, Hollywood. Hollywood's a place that's invented a lot of magic. Some of it good, some of it bad, but we can have our own magic, right? So, self-generated magic begins with clapping together. Are you ready? Yes! Sorry, are you ready? Yes! Okay, copy my clapping. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Everyone's gonna do it.
so fun here's my t-shirt from the parking lot twenty dollars i love it there's the back of it love it love the parking lot guys this is the band escapism he reminds me of lou reed and arthur lee awesome check them out this is the vegan restaurant green leaves it's so good and this picture is all our food we even got that that pink stuff is rice this food was so amazing here is the menu items but follow them on instagram for more and this is the poster outside when I was waiting outside the Hollywood Palladium. And it's such a great big venue. Check out the Hollywood Palladium. And here's my, like, Barbie outfit. I don't know why I was channeling Barbie, but I did. People call me Athletic Barbie. Here's the marquee. And more pictures of inside the Palladium, which was this spacious and beautiful and awesome. And this picture didn't come out. You can't see what was in the marquee, but you get the idea, right? And, of course, my pulp t-shirt that everyone was commenting. And then, of course, there's my Jarvis Cocker. I have him in my living room every day. You see him every day. Sometimes he's disguised at Barry. But anyway, follow me along at stacyburke.com for more adventures. Peace.